Welcome to another video in the Affinity Publisher series that I have. In this one we're looking at steps to setting up and printing a book in Affinity Publisher, the basics for printing crafted content books or novels with Affinity Publisher. Now we're talking about print books, not e-books. So you've written your book, probably using something like Word. Now it's time to get physical copies into your readers hands. We aren't looking at ebooks as they are a whole different story. So here's what you'll need to print your book. Well certainly a printing press like that would be handy but that's not quite what I mean. So to get a print book ready we need the cover. And print book covers are different than ebook covers. So if you have an ebook cover you're not done yet. Print book covers are not easy to design correctly yourself, so unless you're a designer by trade, we strongly recommend hiring a professional. This is the major marketing piece for your book, after all. It's worth a few bucks to do it right. But having said that, the fact that you're using this software tells you that you have the mindset needed to do it. You may have heard the expression, the difference between a handy person and a tradesperson is the tools they use. You have the tools to design your cover. What you didn't have at any time previously is now widely available in the affinity packages and at the right price. Very important. KDP and many other printers happily provide you with fantastic book cover templates, which is a major start. Your print book cover will contain the front cover, back cover and spine and it will be sized specifically to your trim size and page count. How easy can that be? Now let's have a look at KDP examples. I refer to KDP because it's readily accessible. There are many others and you are quite at liberty to use them. The process is very similar. Whether they provide templates or not is entirely up to you to find out. Some of them do, some of them don't. Now, cover trim sizes match your selected book sizes. That's always the trim size. Now the trim size is exactly what it means. The book paper is trimmed to the exact size. The trim size is the size of your book cover as it sits on the shelf in the bookstore. Not with the bleed size included or the flaps or the folds or anything, it's the trim size is the size of the book. Now the link is just below for your information on KDP and it's also in the description, or it will be I hope. And you can see on the right hand side there, this is a page from Kindle Direct Publishing and it's talking about paperback cover templates and you can see I've got the 5 by 8 inch template in highlight there. That's the one I'm using for this exercise. Too simple. Measure makes measurements simple. It's 5 by 8. Now about fonts if I can step aside for a moment. In general the file needs to be high resolution at least 300 dpi. Now 300 dpi is good doesn't need to vary from that really. This is so the cover doesn't appear blurry. You can't make an image of lower resolution bigger without it becoming pixelated. Likewise the colors must be CMYK for print rather than RGB for web. Your ebook cover was likely designed with RGB colors. So you can't simply place it on a canvas and expand it to the right size. It will pixelate. Now fonts should be embedded and only certain fonts should be used. A few options for body text are Centaur, Garamond, Hightower text and Palatino Linotype. These are trade standards if you like. And you'll see some information about font help at KDP, very helpful people, and that um, website link that you can see there. You will need, however, to specify a bleed measurement when you set up your cover artwork in Affinity Publisher. And it's intended to go to the edge of the cover. At most printers, including KDP, 
bleed is 0 0.125 inches or 3 millimeters on all sides. When you're finished you can export it to printer specific pre-press settings but we'll worry, worry about that later. In fact it probably won't even be included in this because that's a different process and it's fairly easy with Affinity Publisher. KDP cover template sizes. Now let's look at this. We've specified a 5 by 8. Now our page count is 165. The paper color is white. Now I set the page count at 165 because that's what I have as a document that I would like to import. Do your page count calculations carefully. You've finished writing and let's say you have 320 pages in Word. Your Word document says 320 pages. Fantastic. It's taken you months to do that. That's the equivalent of 160 physical pages or sheets of paper. Remember, a Word document is printed on two sides of the piece of paper. So it's a double-sided piece of paper. If only your printer would do that. So it's actually only 160 physical pages. You have to remember this when you're designing your book. Don't confuse it. You will also have an inside cover, a copyright page, a dedication page, table of contents maybe. Allow two pages for a table of contents, even if one page ends up blank. And end matter, right at the end of the book, about the author, where you can find them, what other books they have. So maybe 10 more pages. But remember, you don't need 10 single physical pages. You'll, 10 more pages will end up 5 physical pages. So you'll have 165 physical sheets of paper. That's important because look at the right there. Now the template you've chosen is 5 by 8 inches on KDP and you type in the page count 165. That's 165 physical pages. They need that so they can calculate the spine width. You can do that yourself if you know the thickness of the sheets of paper and all that information is available. Paper thickness, cover thickness, the type of board you're using for the cover, all of that stuff counts towards the spine width. So just do it simply, tell KDP and they're experts at finding out the size. So you've got 5 by 8 trim size, page count 165, and the paper colour is white. Couldn't be easier. Download the cover template, and as soon as you click download the cover template, it comes down onto your computer as a PNG and a PDF. Now the KDP print cover template, you can see it there, that's what it's downloaded. 5 by 8 with 165 pages, white paper. Now what this means is, it's a template complete with spine. Spines are important. With a book of less than 100 physical pages, no spine text area is available. So we've only just squeezed it in with 165 pages. In every case with spine text, there must be at least 1.6 millimeter space either side so that it doesn't wrap onto the front or back cover. That's not really an issue except if you're producing little books that are very, very thin, notebooks um, and that kind of thing. Now you can see on the front here it says paperback book cover template, 5 by 8 inch book, 0.38 of an inch spine width and white paper. Now the white area where everything's printed, that's where you can put your cover design. Very simple. The red area, that's the outside, well, it's kind of red, mm, it's a pinky red. That's out of the live area, that's bleed. There's a good chance that will be cut off. In fact, not a good chance, it is a chance. That's the trim size. Inside that pink area, red or pink area, is the trim size. You can see the black dotted line goes right around 
That's your trim size. This is where your book will be cut to produce the final trim size. The blue dotted line is the spine fold. It is blue. There's a, two vertical dotted lines there and they are actually blue, although it's difficult to see. But that's the fold where the spine is. The white area is the live area. Position logos, text and essential images in this area. So that's where you can put your fantastic cover. The red area is out of live bleed area. Your background artwork must fill the red area. Do not place logos, text or essential images in the red area. If your artwork does not meet these requirements it may be rejected. What that means is even if you just have a plain white background on your cover, take it right out to the edge of that orange red border. Right out to the edge, past the dotted line, right to the edge. So your background artwork will be exactly the same size, exactly the same size as that cover you see there. Now that's why we're going to put it into Publisher and make sure we can. So we've got to set up a Publisher document and you can see I've done a preset there. In Affinity you add your bleed in the setup page. KDP won't accept PDF submissions with no bleed. If you're sending your document to your manuscript to KDP as a Word document it's a different issue, but we're not talking about Word here. KDP won't accept PDF submissions, which they readily accept, if it doesn't contain bleed. For example, your book trim size is 5 by 8 and in setup add bleed of 0.125 inches or 3 millimeters on all sides. This is one sheet, remember, your front plus spine plus back. Now you can see on the right hand side that adds up to a page width of 10.38 of an inch. And the page height is 8 inches of course, DPI 300. Document units are in inches. Prefer embedded images. You, you, you can't send up separate images. If you have images in your document, embed them. Number of pages, one. It's a cover, front, spine and back, so it's only one page. Default master. You can include a master page if you like. Um, it'll sit there and if you don't use it, it doesn't matter. You don't need facing pages. Your colour is CMYK slash 8. And a transparent background. This helps you when you're designing. Now include margins. Um, I'm of two minds about margins. You've got to um, a left margin, a right margin, a top and a bottom. The right margin you can probably change slightly and I'll do that in the next uh, thing because the right margin is closer to the outside edge of the book. But margins you can even leave them off actually. They help you to design your cover so it really doesn't matter where you put them. You can take material up to the margins and know that if it keeps goes over that, it may be out of alignment. Margins in this case are really up to you. Now, doing the math for the cover size. This is this is a mind bender, or it can be. First, you have your downloaded KDP cover template. Both the PNG and the PDF are the exact size you need. 10.63 by 8.25. That's, that's the size of the KDP document. So how do we arrive at that for a 5 by 8 inch book? We do the math. This is the complete cover with spine. Books with less than 100 physical pages will not have a printable spine, even though there will be a usable calculation to add. So if you've got a book that's 100 pages or less, you've still got a spine width there and you'll have to add it to that calculation. 
So front cover plus spine plus back cover. I calculated the spine width on KDP by telling them the page count, remember. That's 10.3 eighths of an inch equals 5 inch width back cover, 3 eighths of an inch or 0.3 eighths inch spine and 5 inch wide front cover. The book height is 8 inches. The bleed on all sides adds to the measurement to equal the KDP template measurement of 10.63 by 8.25. Now you can see the page width and page height up the top of the uh, preset are 10.38 and 8 inches. That's fine because you're adding bleed right down the bottom of the page. Ignore margins, you probably don't even have to put them in. Your bleed down the bottom adds the extra dimension to the page. So. We're going to create that preset by selecting new, start with an existing preset in inches, and I started with 5 by 8 inches. Change the measurements to match the measurements of your calculation. Front cover plus spine plus back cover, 10.3 eighths of an inch. The number of pages, 1, that's to create the one cover page you need. 300 dpi, CMYK color, and the margins of 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. You really don't need them, but you can put them in if you like. Now the bleed is 0 0.125 on all four sides. Left, right, top and bottom. Observe the measurements carefully. If you make a mistake, just delete it, start again. Now your new preset cover document, after you clicked create, the cover document is a separate file. You can't put the manuscript document in the same file, and we're talking about covers at the moment. So this is the cover document. Your content will be in a separate document, which we'll look at next. Your new document for the cover will look like this. One page, and you can see it there. Now measuring for accuracy. Place the KDP template that you downloaded onto the background using the place command. Now I reduced its opacity to about 50% I think, perhaps a little less, so I can see the bleed marks and things like that and the borders and margins beneath it. That's now your background. Check that you have the measurements correct. If you have to adjust the template to fit the bleed margins, then you've done something wrong. That template is exactly the right size. That should be the exact right size out to the red-orange edges. It should come right out to the edge of your bleed, as you can see there. Now we can check this. In the Transform Studio, if you select the KDP template, it tells you it's 10.63 by 8.25. If you look at the spread setup in Publisher for the document that you've got there, that you created, the spread setup tells you the dimensions are 10.38 by 8. That's fine, because you've also added the bleed, and the bleed boundaries match both documents. I hope we're following that. <laughs> you can see the main part of the template, the KDP template, that's not going out to the edge. Its dotted bleed line, the black dotted margin right around it, is sitting neatly on the edge of your complete document. If you're not too sure about that, pause the video here and study it carefully. If you get it wrong, it's not a disaster. Just delete it or adjust it and go back and do it again. Now, you're ready for the cover design. Now, I won't go into the cover design here. For a start, if you're not too sure about how to go about designing a cover, look no further. 
I have two lengthy videos on just how to do it step by step and that's on the YouTube channel that's the YouTube channel address and it's an early book and it's called a thriller cover step by step that's the name of the video just look, type in your search in my playlist publish a playlist and look for thriller and let's take a look at what it might look like now that's mm, I think the entire process you've got there I won't go into the design here just look for the other video it's quite a lengthy video and it takes a long time but if you want to do this correctly don't rush the job you can see I've got the spine there I've got the title remember the front page is the right hand side <laughs> And I've got all the elements there. Um, you can see on the right hand, right on the right hand side, the layers panel contains everything that that cover will have, including um, my ISBN, or actually, it's a dummy ISBN. But I do have my own ISBNs for various books. You can get your own, or you can accept one um, assigned to you by KDP themselves. Very good. Now then, we've got our cover. You've got your cover template set up. Remember, that's exactly the right size, that template now, for eight, an 8x5 eight book. And you can actually, you can see on this one, I've got the bleed area out there. Now, obviously, you don't put anything important out there. You can see the margins I've got set in that book there. You might have to adjust your margins. That's easy enough to do. You just go into the layout panel and adjust margins. And you can see that it cuts off right at the edge, but the margins contain the text and images that I've got. Now there's a background image, covers the whole page, goes right out to the edge of the bleed. And except in one case I note there on the bottom this must be this is obviously not the final thing because there's a gap at the bottom on the left hand side there's a gap gap between the background image and the bleed I'll have to fix that or I would have had to fix that to print the book but this was done a couple of months back so it's obviously been fixed but this shows you how careful you have to be you have to look at every element of your cover design because if you miss a bit like that and submit it to KDP they will reject it and you'll sit there scratching your head thinking what is wrong with this but there it is look carefully get somebody else to look carefully get your brother your sister your mother your uncle your aunt to look at it and say what's wrong with this but fix it you will and you can do it you don't have to spend a fortune you do have to take some time a badly designed cover is one that's done in five minutes. A well designed cover is one that takes you a couple of days to do. And this one, I can assure you, took me more than a couple of days. So, let's have a look at the next stage. The content or manuscript. Creating the content or manuscript document. Now this is the contents of your book. The cover is very important. But of course, the book's nothing without the content. So, format your interior file. When you submit a book to a printer, you submit two files, certainly to KDP, the cover and the interior, which is the inside of your book. The interior file, usually a PDF in this case, is the design version of your manuscript. In the old days, you would have needed to hire a graphic designer. Hmm. But now you can do it yourself and save a fortune. Simply import your Word document into Publisher and Viola, instant book design in a format you have full control over. This is what I love about self-publishing. It's entirely up to you. Everything you do is your own work and there's a good deal of pride in, in, to be had in that. So load it up to KDP or almost any other quality print-on-demand service and your book is on the market. Let's see how that's done using the same trim size as we just did for the cover. This following text in italic is if your 
designing if you've done your original in Word and you have images and things on the page you will need to add bleed KDP are fussy about this and this that's just some instructions how to modify Word uh, to change the page size we won't need to go into that unless this is an issue you come across down the track and come back to this I'm going to assume that you're starting out with a standard novel pure text no images nothing that needs to take up new measurements like page bleed so we'll just stick with the plain vanilla thriller for now ah, I'm a poet I know it let's set up your interior create a preset in publisher and I've already done this it's called 5 by 8 paperback 5 by 8 160 pages that's the manuscript size remember that was used to set the spine size in the cover 300 dpi cmyk margins of 0.76 0.06 your outer margin is slightly less because you're pushing the page to the right because the left hand side of the page the 0.76 side of the page is buried in the spine or it's because it's attached into the spine you don't really um, want your text disappearing into the spine so it pushes it out to the right a bit top and bottom of course are 0.76 now I've got bleed showing there of zero there's no bleed on the inner edge of course the outer edge is 125 and a thing of note for KDP if your submitted document does not have bleed they won't accept it in the PDF form your new interior template looks like this we need to set up the front matter before we import our document, our story. The front matter usually consists of the following and it should be on specific pages. Now you'll have probably done this already in your uh, document manuscript. Title page, page 2 is often blank, sometimes a TOC, copyright or TOC on page 3. Now this is no hard fast rule, but those first few pages are always um, to, for things other than the story. You don't start chapter one on page one. If you look at the following example where the manuscript is loaded in, you'll see what the standard is. Fiction does not always have a table of contents, by the way. It's purely up to the author. You can add one or not. If you go to the library and look across the shelves, a lot of fiction has table of contents, a lot of fiction does not. Now let's look at this in practice by adding the template with dummy content supplied by KDP. Add a text frame to page 1. Fairly straightforward. Select page 1, make sure it's highlighted there, and add a text frame that covers the entire page. Go to File, Place, and locate the downloaded manuscript template. It's a Word document. And it's called 5 by 8 in dot docx. Now this is purely for exercise. You can get rid of it later and put your own document in once you know how this is done. This appears in the first page and nothing else in any of the other pages. And you think, what? What happened here? Don't worry, there's a trick up our sleeve to deal with this. Observe the little red triangle on the lower right hand side there. Not the squiggle next to it, the red triangle. Now while I'm here on this page, you can see the bleed margins around there, the bleed lines. The left hand edge has no bleed margin. That's because it's a right hand page. Recto. Recto and verso. Left and right. So you have no bleed line there. Okay? Back on track, the red triangle. This is a screen photo captured on my iPhone. It's the only way of capturing the little symbol you see there. It looks like a dumbbell on its side. 
when you see that hold down the shift key hover over the little red triangle and as the dumbbell icon appears click the mouse to get that to appear you hover your mouse pointer over the little red triangle the dumbbell appears hold the shift key down and click on that triangle the document will automatically generate the pages as it flows through the document and you can see there we now have the document contents the document contents appears in the page as if by magic sometimes it takes a moment to appear depending on the speed of your computer and the size of the document if you've got a humongous document um, it'll take a little while longer to appear if you now step through the pages you'll see what I mean by the front matter belonging on certain pages and you can just see it faintly there in the pages list there's a title page dedications table of contents and so on and I think it's page 8 of this document that the chapter 1 begins now this is a this is a KDP word document that they use as an example template for you and it's very handy to show you just what's happening now if you have more than 160 pages or less than if you have less than 160 pages you'll have lots of blank pages you just remove them don't forget to adjust your spine size accordingly you might have to redo your cover that's why you can't send one and then the other because you might find that once your book is being imported things look a bit different now we're just about there publishing the really exciting part now I won't go into all the detail here suffice to say that connect to KDP to your account log into your KDP account Take your time in the steps to publishing. It's a very well done interface and in clear, easy steps. You must preview your document when you get to that stage. This shows where any problems come up and you have to fix them before you proceed. But this is where you get to upload your document. The manuscript, upload the paperback manuscript. You also get to upload your book cover upload a cover you already have a print PDF only print ready PDF so you've finished everything and exported it to the print version everything's uploaded successfully there now once it goes up there it will go into re it will take a while to review don't go past that previous page until you've got green boxes with ticks in them now from that stage it'll go into review and review can take over a week sometimes so don't be impatient and start writing them letters where's my book because it will take a while and you can see there the red arrow pointing to my travel journal um, it's a paperback it's in review that took about a week I think and there was a problem with it and I went back and fixed the problem and it took another day I think and the cleared review too easy I hope you find this useful this is the end of this video um, and if you want more information on any of the detail I've got lots more videos already done and I'm always happy to take questions so I hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel Click on like as well and the bell. If you click on the bell, it reminds you when I post new videos to this section. Thanks for watching.